I have always had a very strong love-hate relationship with Super Star Wars for the Super Nintendo. I love it because it is a fun platformer for the Super Nintendo, but I hate it so much because it can be one of the most frustrating and unforgiving games ever. The game is essentially a remake of Star Wars, which was released for the NES, which was notorious for its loose following of the storyline and its unfriendly difficulty. While that version was forgettable, this one is not. The game is a combat platformer that follows the storyline of Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope. This means you can expect to do your running, jumping, and shooting in locations such as Tatooine and the Death Star, which are all brought to life with the power of the Super Nintendo. You start the game off as Luke Skywalker on Tatooine, blasting Jawas and finding your lightsaber. But eventually you make it to Mos Eisley and even the Death Star. You will even get to play as Han Solo and Chewbacca, which adds great variety and honestly, who doesn't want to play as a Wookiee? Each character has different abilities and moves, which I like to play as Luke because using the lightsaber and his jump attack is just so overpowered. The gameplay itself is what you would expect. You start the game off with a blaster and move to the side, jumping on platforms and shooting enemies. Sometimes the enemies will drop some much needed hearts which will restore some of your life. There are also weapon upgrades and other power-ups. The platforming can be frustrating, as the game will sometimes do that Castlevania thing and knock you off a platform when you get hit, which is abundant on the Sandcrawler level. But you are not restricted to platforming. There are also vehicle and shooting sections, which are a nice change of pace. All this looks great on the Super Nintendo. The levels are amazing, with a lot of detail and enemies. But, with the graphics and the sound being as great as they are, it's like playing a 16-bit version of the movie. But one thing that this game, and this series, have become somewhat known for is its difficulty. The game will punish you for making your mistakes big time. Enemies take plenty of shots to take down, and there are some tricky platform sections. But these are easily pushed aside when taking the game in as a whole. You will die often but you'll always come back for some more.